it's been practice. I've talked about the uh, you know, our, our willingness to work from from January when we started out, and that continued today. Uh, made a little weather change halfway through practice. The guys did a good job adjusting it there. Uh, the tempo of, of the way we practice will get better as we move forward. Some different things for them today. Um, just to learn as we as we move and the urgency from getting from drill to drill and some day one stuff will get cleaned up. But schematically, uh, on both sides of the ball, um, you know, we are, are learning a whole bunch of stuff. We've got to be great teachers um, as, as coaching, uh, as a coaching staff. We've got to teach our guys uh, because there's a lot of stuff going in and uh, we've got to get a lot better. From what we saw, I mean, it just seems like everything was moving a little bit quicker. You know, you guys are moving your, your guys around from station to station, from drill to drill. Is that is that intentional? Well, I, I, I want to move with urgency. If we get through the scripted plays when we get through, then, then we're calling it. You know, so if we get the work in we need to, then we want to get it done. If it doesn't look right, then we should start over. And over. So, um, you know, it's a lot of us on, on our coaching staff getting it set. How did it feel for you first practice? Uh, you know, I, I was a little bit sloppy. I feel like, really, just honestly, I mean, I, there are a couple times I'm coaching some spots, I'm coaching on special teams, um, trying to give a little bit of space on both sides of the ball, but also uh, find myself coaching, uh, and, and that's uh, that's good for me. Uh, I, I, I've got to move around a little bit and uh, stay out of way, also. Very, because it's a it's a new staff. Do the spring practices, does it change from what you're used to just because you have different things that you have to install? Well, we've, you know, the, the urgency, you know, you're going to hear me say that word many times, the urgency for us uh, to be great teachers. That, that's what we are. Um, we've got to be uh, on point with all the new schematics that are going on. And then we've got to find out you know, who are the best 11 in each spot. You know, find the best 11 on both sides of the ball in our kicking game to get those guys in the right spot to make sure that they're getting the number Big of an emphasis is that because that was a big struggle last year. It's got to be, uh, it's got to be in our favor. It's got to be uh, for us. It's got to be as important as offensively or defensively. Uh, I think that's a huge part uh, of the game. And if you look at a guy that starts on every special team, and he's on the field for the snaps. Um, so we've got to uh, improve in all areas, and that's, that's one that uh, I'm trying to uh, get some. Is that why you're, you're going to be a little more hands-on with special teams? I will be. Yes. Uh, like it, and uh, I think just an added bonus, another coach uh, to help in that area is going to uh, hopefully move us in the right direction. So after we won, we looked really crappy on special teams, and then I didn't agree yet. Barry, the guys with injuries, uh, Brantley, Beckham, and Ross, kind yeah. of, what can you expect out of any of those guys? Well, uh, Brantley got some got, got some work today, uh, which was awesome to see just from a personal standpoint from where he was uh, last June or July, whenever that was. Um, you know, there were questions whether or not uh, he was going to get out of the hospital. And to see the progress that he, with Brett Sharp and Pat Smith, had made, uh, you know, I'm, I'm proud of the kid, and I'm, I'm proud of uh, what our training staff and medical staff has done for him. Um, Beckner, and Beckner and Ross both are, are going to be very limited. We're going to make sure that um, I don't want a guy out here coming off of that injury that's not ready to go, and that's going to be Rex's call. Uh, true. 100% trust and, and getting those guys back in the time frame that we need them back. I, we don't, those two guys, they need to get all the mental reps that they can, obviously. They need to be great learners in the classroom right now. Um, and then we've got to do a great job when they're ready, we'll get them back out there. Jones, 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 Harris, okay. Well, there's a couple of them. Jonathan going. Johnson, Charles Harris. Uh, yeah, they both started, um, you know, started and got plenty of reps today. I've got to check on all Jonathan's reps. I'm not sure how to do it. I just find out what that was. But, uh, if we were playing, we would have been playing. And then we were playing. Charles, Harris. Charles Harris is coming off. You know, he had a uh, procedure done uh, after the season last year. So this first time back out, you know, after cover, you, know, you mentioned well, the thinking? urgency. Did you like the way the guys responded to the urgency from? Yeah, the I mean, we're starting you know, with a new stretch. Uh, there's a lot of newness out here for some of our guys. And uh, just for, for them to uh, you know, step in and, and go with it day one, um, we'll get more urgent as we go. We've got to. What was the thinking with moving Cam up back over to safety, just kind of you know, shifting him back over? Yeah, if you look, he's a talented kid that can play a lot of spots. And if you look at our depth chart for us, it's most important for, for me and both sides of the ball to work together to get our guys in position where they can help our football team. And you know, 
right now that was like the best spot that our team needed him at, at that spot. And I think uh, you know it's you never want to take from one side a really great player and put him on the other side. But but if you look at our you know, the number of receivers we got compared to the number of defensive backs we got, and then his skill set level. Um, He's going to help us over there, and he'd help us on either side. But, but we needed our team needed him at safety. Does you have a bit of a leg up right now because of the eight games he's able to start? Well, with? I think you know if you look at just experience, then you would say so. Um, I, I want all three of those guys to feel like that they're competing um, because they've, they've got to. I mean, it's one snap, and you don't ever know who's going to be in the game. Um, so I want, um, and, the, and there is going to be competition on you know who rolls out there for uh, for snap against West Virginia. What's the situation with uh, Marky Doherty and the baseball? Yeah, they had a game today. That hopefully, Coach Jameson gets it in. Good. But, you know, the days that they're playing, we work together uh, to make sure that, that you know, it's baseball season. I want him to, you know, when we recruited him, we told him uh, that he'd have an opportunity to go compete in baseball, and that's what he's doing. Uh, the days that he's not there, he's going to come work with us. And, uh, he did a fair amount of off-season workouts with us which was good, um, and, and I wanted to have a good success with the baseball team as well. Talk about yeah. your process, what you and the coaches will do now leading up to the next practice. We will go in, um, hopefully they shower, um, we'll sit down, we'll review the game, the uh, practice video um, tonight, make some adjustments as needed, and uh, then tomorrow morning we'll be in early uh, recruiting. We'll have a staff meeting after that and uh, we'll set the practice plan that's already set. Let's make sure we're reviewing that, ready to go for uh, Thursday. We'll have player meetings tomorrow, we'll team meeting, and uh, we'll get as good as we can get tomorrow. Barry, yeah. Spike Lee was here interviewing some people for the documentary. I mean, how, did you have any contact with him or how much of the team? No, did I didn't. Uh, and, and I didn't. Um, you know, it wasn't, uh, wasn't set up with an interview or anything, so I, I heard, obviously, that, that he was on campus and in town, so I didn't uh, didn't have the opportunity uh, to visit. Uh, how do you feel about yeah, your your players talking to him for a documentary and things like that? Well, I just think, you know, it's it's important for, for us as a, as a university and an athletic department to uh, always be working to, to get better. And, um, you know, as far as them talking to one individual or two individuals, I mean, all that is set up with, you know, it's no different than, than if he's going to meet with, but they matter. I mean, you know, it's, I've got opinions how I feel about that too. But, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, you know, that's, um, our, our guys are responsible. Um, you know, they, they know how important this football team, the football program is, and, and the university is, and uh, we're going to handle ourselves the right way. Is it you kind of a. address the Oh yeah, we talked about it. Yeah, we've got a great relationship with, um, I'm not going to back down or hide or not address any issue, good, bad, or ugly. Um, I I'm, I'm, deal in, in fairness and honesty, and uh, for me it was the right thing for us to do to get closer as a team and get closer as a family, but we can move forward where we need to be. Is it kind of a fine line you have to walk as far as embracing what happened last year versus realizing that a lot of I think there's there's a lot of lessons you can learn uh, on you know everything from from game experience last year to on and off the field things that uh, came up. So so for us and me as the the leader of the of the program, it's good for, for all of us to look and and learn and use every example, whether it's how to defend the power play or uh, you know, things that happen uh, on campus. We live and learn with experience, and, and I think that uh, we've done that over the last you know, few weeks. How much of the practice you kind of watch in offense and how forward is that 